All right, guys, time check. It is 3.06. It is the day before opening of rifle season for deer here in California. I have drew a tag that took about four or five years to get. So looking forward to this hunt immensely. We're gonna be hunting some high mountain, Rocky Mountain mule deer. It's gonna be, we're gonna be up above 10,000 foot elevation. We've got about a four hour drive all together. To get to this spot, we have to leave California, go into Nevada, and then come back in on a little, on a little forest road to get to our hunting spot back in California. So it's a roundabout way to get there, but we're hoping we're gonna see some monster bucks. We got Colton, you've seen him many times. We got Talon behind the camera. Talon, show yourself. So we got our backpacks loaded, we got our tent, we're gonna be camping out. Got a good hike up the mountain to do in the morning and hopefully we shoot one at daylight. Starting to look good. We got our first deer. We were back in here for miles. Did you stop driving? There's a doe right there. She's checking us out. Oh, and there she goes. There she goes. All right, guys. It is around like right at seven o'clock. We finally got here. I'll show you guys what area we're going to be hunting. We're up about 8,500 to anywhere, somewhere between 8,500 to 9,000 feet elevation. Uh, plan for the morning. Just hike up that way, way up the mountain, find a nice buck and drop it and pack it out. We're gonna go do a little bit of scouting, a little bit of glassing before it gets too dark. All right guys, we glassed for a while, spotted a few deer. Pretty far away, couldn't tell what they were, but now we just got our camp set up, got us fire. Got our tent set up. Got all our mummy bags laid out. Gonna go through our stuff. Get everything ready for the morning. It is 8.25 right now. And uh, we are planning on getting up about 3.30. Hiking up the mountain and hopefully killing a buck. So, about to make some dinner. We got a bunch of food, so we're gonna see how that tastes. We got some chicken salad sandwiches, some chips and dip, some pasta salad. We got some chili beans cooking right there. Master Chef Talon McDonald. Time check 3:23. We're going to start hiking up the hill. Hopefully get up there about an hour, 45 minutes for daybreak. Yeah, this tent was being tested last night with the wind. Just getting all our stuff together. Six o'clock at our spot. We can't see, but we're glassing the big valley down there below. Hopefully there's some deer. I got him, but hard to see. He's hard to see. You guys probably couldn't see too good on the camera. On this camera, no. But a big, uh, three to four hundred pound black bear is over there, about a thousand yards away. So far, we've seen two doe, a little buck, about a thousand yards that way, bedded down, and uh, it's just still glassing. We've been here for about an hour and a half. All right, it is a little bit past nine o'clock. It's like nine oh seven, something like that. We seen today, so far this morning, two doe. I seen a little buck bedded down about 900 to 1,000 yards away. Talon spotted a huge black bear, three or 400 pounds at least, because we could see it no problem. It 860 yards. 860 yards away. It was, it was big. But uh, now we aren't doing much. We're going to start hiking back and glass the way back. Well, we had really good plans to eat Mountain House. We had our stove, our propane, little propane little tank, <laughs> and uh, I forgot a lighter. So we got to walk how far back? Like an hour plus. Hour straight, straight downhill. Down. Thanks, Drew. 
Open up since 3.30 without any food. So I'm gonna try either some freeze-dried strawberries or an ice cream sandwich. This one is an ice cream sandwich freeze-dried and it doesn't require water, so we're gonna do a taste test on it. So if you dry it out an ice cream sandwich. Seriously? It's like you, a stale ice cream sandwich. Get that right there. Tastes like a cookie. Like an ice cream flavored cookie. Yay or nay? I don't like it. Came down off the top of the mountain. Big wide open country. Got mountain house cooking. Lasagna and chili mac and beef. With Hawaiian rolls. It's about 4.20. We've sat at camp all day. Glass and areas around the camp. Now we're heading back up. Hopefully spot a deer in this little canyon. Nothing much this morning, so hoping they'll be out at night a little bit more. Well, we were seeing absolutely nothing. No wildlife, no deer. Back at camp, it's about to get dark. Eating some Frito boats, sitting by fire. Hopefully tomorrow we're gonna go drive to another spot, pick up camp, and go see if we can find anything down that way. It is 5.56. We just packed up camp. Uh, we're gonna drive around to some new spots. I think we might have deer, and hopefully we get one on this second morning of deer season. All right guys, we just pulled over, we got service. Cheyenne got a buck, she's hunting, my sister Cheyenne, she's hunting with my grandpa and my other sister. We don't know where they are, but uh, we're gonna go try to find a new place to hunt. It's getting pretty late, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Time check, it is 8.59. We have met up with Papa and my two sisters. Cheyenne got a buck. Uh, they actually filmed their own little video of that hunt, so I'll make a separate video of that. You guys will be able to watch it later. And uh, go into some new country that all my family has killed deer at before. So hopefully I have the same amount of luck. Just get into the area. Got two deer up there. Two does walking. to see some deer finally move to a new spot. They're scattered all over this hill. Toyotas. Not a bad year. Well, it is 11.06. Uh, just passed on a decent little buck. That's what I was wanting to know, so I let him go. We we're just driving around to some new spots, glassing some country. Just got wide open everywhere. But uh, seeing deer at this new location, probably gonna hunt here the evening, all today. Hopefully, we get one. We got our second buck. He's gonna live another day. But uh, it's pretty cool, we've already seen two deer in the last couple hours. You see another buck, Johnny? There's another buck in the bush right by him. You see another buck? Yeah, in the right, in the bush. Okay, let me check, hold on. There's actually another buck in that bush with that other one. He had a little fork and horn. That's three bucks now. They went over the top, I don't know where they went to. But uh, we're seeing deer finally. There's the big buck killer. I would show you guys her buck, but they took their own little video footage of their whole hunt, so I'm going to make a video out of that for you guys. You guys can enjoy that. Team Foul Assassins. <laughs> Foul family. <though>. Foul family. <laughs> 114. Just glassing. Passed on three little bucks so far. Hopefully by the time evening rolls around, we start seeing more. So far, pretty good for being the slowest part of the day. 
309, stopping for some lunch before the evening hunt. Backpacker's Pantry, never tried this. Let's see how it compares to Mountain House. So Backpacker's Pantry is a lot better than Mountain House. Super good, filled with flavor. Nice and tasty. See, she's tough. He's, oh, he's ugly. He's Little guy. That's probably, That's probably his mom. mom. <laughs> Fourth buck for the day. Kind of looks like a reindeer. Is he in velvet? Hey, Rudolph. Oh. Meh. Like, oh. Meh. 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 What? It looks pretty cool, some deer walking on that burn. Buck number five and six for the day. Four, two little fork and horns. Well, actually, one's actually a three pointer. A three and a fork and horn. So six bucks today. Nothing I wanted to shoot. But uh, we've had a good weekend. Actually, good today has been good. Just is kind of rough. Two nice little bucks. Definitely some deer in this area. It's actually a nice little three-pointer. Well, guys, we are wrapping up this weekend hunt. First day, as you've seen, no luck. We didn't see much. We came to a different area, been driving around glass and spots. We've seen probably between 20 and 30 doe today. Seen six bucks, some decent ones, but like they're all pretty small still. I'm gonna hold out for something bigger. I got <laughs> over three weeks left of season, so I'm gonna try and get what I want because I've waited so long for this tag. But uh. Hope you guys enjoyed this whole deer hunting. I think it's the first deer hunting video that's ever been on this channel so far. Uh, just stay tuned. There's going to be more in the next few weeks. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what you thought of it. And we will see you on the next hunt.